Ah, good morning, love. Feeling a bit more clear-headed than last night, are you? Take a nice whiff of that salty sea air. Ah, there's nothing like it. Just watching the waves roll by, the sun as it peeks over that horizon. <clears throat> so anything come back to you? We should be dropping anchor at Westport Landing in a few days' time. Hmm, still nothing, huh? <laughs> but you say you like the waves and the sunrise as well, huh? Well, I tell you, love, there is nothing like this sense of freedom. It's the pirate's life. <laughs> and admittedly, you were absolutely right about that hat suiting you. It's very piratey. <laughs> I'll have to get one myself to go with this coat, won't I? So, have you thought about what you're going to do when we arrive? I mean, I'm sure someone will recognize you and get you to whatever mansion or palace you belong to. I think it's probably best if I just hide out for a bit while you get your affairs in order. But you're paying me the second you're back settled, though. That's the deal. And that's it, yeah? Don't be sending any Navy ships after us. Stay? At Westport Landing? No, no chance of going down that honest path, love. I'm a pirate. Always will be. Hang on a minute. Aye, what do you see, Johnny? A ship on our stern? Gaining speed? What color is she flying? None. It can't be. Hand me that spyglass. Aye, it's a sloop sailing toward our port quarter. Some vessel called the Forgotten Wench. And at the helm? Ah, it's my old drinking buddy from the tavern. He must not be too happy about you swiping his sword and coat, love. How did he know where to find us, I wonder? It's not like I gave him our destination while I was negotiating. Ah, seems we weren't so subtle in our escape after all. Look out there at front. It's the captain, red as a tomato and barking orders as usual. <laughs> it's not even the man's ship and he's still ordering everyone around. I told you there was no chance we made it out of there undetected. Brace yourself, love. No, we're not going to be able to outrun them. And we don't have crew enough to man all our cannons for a full broadside. Nah, don't worry. I'm thinking of a plan now. Oh no, we're not starting to share plans now. Trust me on this. Here, stand next to me. They need to see that you're on board. Ahoy there, Captain. No need to broadside your own ship, right? We're clearly outnumbered and outgunned. So how about I offer you a proposition? This was the woman you kidnapped, yeah? Quite a lovely thing, isn't she? Must be mighty important to you. Move a muscle and I slit your throat. One wrong move, Captain. And you're leaving here with a headless prize. You see, this lady right here, she promised me something if I helped her. She said she'd give me gold enough for a ship if I helped her back home. And look at this. I've got me a ship now, don't I? And I didn't even need to bring her home. I've got no use for her anymore. But if you want her... She's all yours. <laughs> See? I knew you wouldn't like this plan, dearie. And thank you. 
You've been most helpful through this whole affair. Certainly would have never thought to steal the devil's heart without you. I say, if you want her, come on over and take her, sir. She's all yours. Stop struggling. And you can give that drunken swabby his sword back, too. Not the coat, though. I'm rather fond of it. Now here's how this will go. We're all respectable pirates here, so you take your prized wench and do what you will with her, and I'm set to sail away with my new ship. At least until I've charted a new course. If you find me again, our little agreement here is off the table, and you can beat me to a bloody pulp. Sounds like a right fair deal, doesn't it? Although, if I kill you now, Captain, that solves all my troubles, doesn't it? Aye, sir. You've proven that it's not just the hat that makes the captain. <sighs> You've quite a skill with your blade. But this was never my fight to finish. It was hers. Well done, love. Yes, that was the perfect time to start flailing your sword about. Finished what you started back home when you first stabbed the captain, eh? <laughs> Oh, uh, right. Not the best time for jokes, I suppose. But that did go all according to plan. Are you alright? I, admittedly, your anger at me is justified. But by my reckoning, our actions have now granted us a... genuine claim over the Devil's Heart. And the leverage to negotiate for that old barnacle's unconditional surrender of the forgotten wench as well. When that bilgerat sees you've bested the captain, he won't dare challenge you. And I think with how poorly the captain mistreated his own crew, they'll be quite appreciative of you. Now to take my prize. Ah, yes, a perfect fit. Yes, I do get to keep his hat. You've already got one. Now, what say you we deliver the captain's body? Ahoy, ye scallywags! Ye have been freed from the wretched captain's tyranny! Feast your eyes on the lady you now call captain! You there, at the helm! Bloody tried to drink me under the table back at Port Royal, didn't ye? Shouldn't have thrown in your lot with the captain. If you value your life, you'll be surrendering your vessel to us. Aye, the forgotten wench has a new captain now. Ha <laughs> Ah, something in the ship's cabin you need first. You're lucky to be leaving here with your skin, you bilgerat. Now, into the longboat with you. <laughs> ah, look at us, love. We'll be sailing two vessels to your home tonight. Now, let's see what we can find in the captain's cabin, eh? <laughs> <laughs> 